everyone, it's Fitz. I hope you're doing well. It's a daily delivery. It is Christmas. It's finally here. The gifts have been waiting. We knew what we were going to get. Well, maybe it's here. I don't know. We'll see how today goes. First reminder, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are over 9,500. It's because of you. 9,500 of you care about me. The rest, well, we need to talk. Leave comments if you choose to do so. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. And here we go. Is today the day that Colorado returns to the Big 12? Sure sounds like it as I record this on Wednesday. A lot of reports are coming out that Colorado is on the cusp of voting to leave the Pac-12 to return to the Big 12. It seemed inevitable for a very long time. But the Pac-12 schools have given their commissioner and their leadership so much rope, so much time to get a deal together that finally, Silent George is going to get his dream to come true. Someone's going to leave his conference and maybe someone else, a little bit more on that in a second, and he'll be able to say, it's not my fault we didn't get a deal. It's all the Big 12's fault because all the Pac-12 knows how to do right now is to blame someone else for their problems. Colorado isn't leaving because it doesn't want to be in the Pac-12. It wants to be in the Pac-12, but the Pac-12 is making it impossible for schools to stay because they can't get a media rights deal worth what they need. Now, our colleague at 24-7 Sports that covers Arizona, Jason Shear, has announced also that he's hearing talk, as dude walks into the room, hearing talk of another Pac-12 school not in the four corners that might also be ready to move. Oregon, Oregon State, those seem like the most likely ones because it sounds like the Big Ten's kind of focused on the Washington, Stanford, Cal, those three schools, and Oregon seems to be out. But does Oregon really believe it's out? Because if I'm Oregon and I'm Phil Knight, I think the Big Ten wants me, even if they don't. It's going to be a very interesting day, to say the least, because if it isn't Colorado leaving, then this Board of Regents meeting they're having, they had a behind closed doors executive session on Wednesday, and on Thursday they've scheduled a session for the public vote supposedly to take place. If it's not Colorado moving, then we've all whiffed. But I feel like this is where we've been headed, and we're finally arriving, much later than suspected because the Pac-12's own stalling techniques have been effective. Effective with schools that simply don't know what's best for them. If you're a Pac-12 school in Colorado, let alone someone else from your conference, jumps to the Big 12, how quickly do you call Brett your mark? And after what some of you have said, how some of you, including ADs, have acted, do you think you'll pick up? I don't know. Colorado's played it exactly right.